Hi, ho everyone, my name is Mr. Fruit, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, a brand new exotic. This one was a doozy for everybody to unlock for reasons I'll explain right now. But first off, thank you very much to Kingfish for letting me use this bastion. Not gonna lie though, his hunter do be looking pretty fresh. I was gone for most of this, I was just a pack south, but there was this huge community puzzle that came out of nowhere, whole bunch of python coding, people, thousands of pictures and resets, that whole thing was above my pay grade. But once they solved the puzzle, at the end awaited a brand new quest to unlock a new exotic, which happened to be the Bastion. Which for those that follow Destiny 2, Bastion was on the roadmap to be released next week, but it's here now. Don't ask me. It is a kinetic fusion rifle. You heard me right. Kinetic fusion rifle. Its intrinsic perk charges to fire three spread of kinetic slugs. And its straight breakthrough, a portion of this weapon's damage bypasses elemental shields. In reality, it's almost like a charging shotgun. Now, actually, as of the time of this video, reset has happened. And since we unlocked it through the puzzle last week, everybody in Destiny can go talk to Saint-14 and get the new mission themselves to get the exotic. But I'm hoping after using it, I'm convinced that I need to go get it because it's so sick. Now there's a lot of strife in the community because of this entire quest though, because since Bastion was on the roadmap for next week, we're like, oh, there's gotta be something secret behind this. Who knows what we're gonna get since the whole puzzle was a surprise. Well, surprise, it, it was just the weapon we were told we were getting next week. And a lot of the problems people have is the fact that we were told this was coming next week. So we, th we got our hopes up like, oh, this must be something Something new, something different. So a lot of people are thinking, you know, if they just didn't put this on the roadmap and this was the reward, a lot of people would be happier, but because they kind of debated this. Listen, it does really matter. I mean, everybody was getting their minds erasing. They're like, oh, G-Horn, which would be insane. Hold on, let me try this thing. Whoa, look at this animation though. What be happening right now? We only have two shots though, because it, okay, that was, okay, so that was damage. Not a lot of, it. Okay, I have no range. Or we just need to work it. I like this to watch this. Reminds me of some sort of like Bioshock infinite looking thing. I don't know, but I'm a fan of that. We're gonna see if I'm a fan of the gun though. I have been told it is a little butts, but I am here to form an opinion on my own. Greetings, people from the past. This is Mr. Fruit from the end of the video coming back to talk to you at the beginning of the video because I must atone for my sins. I made a little judgment call on the Bastion a little too early, and then we kind of get nice with it. So stick with me, bear with me. And and that's it from Time Traveling Fruit. Okay, or I, for you present fruit, for me past fruit, we'll talk to you right, okay, whatever. This whole time travel thing's uh, confusing. There are a couple stands out there that are like, no, it's, it's totally worth it. And we'll see about that, it, it kicks. Say that much, this girl kicks. And just a lack of range. Um, and what appears to be damage. Range and damage. Because if it's firing four shots, and body shots do ten damage, and that's, uh, to charge, we're doing 40 da That's like a body shot with like a hand cannon. So, maybe precision damage does approximately half a billion. Uh, that'll, I guess, be better. Oh, wait, okay, there was 30 damage, okay. Okay, I can get behind that, Bob. We got- we got a kill. We're doing it. So maybe the- it's just the damage fall off is extreme. So we did 30 to that dude with our shots, but previously we were doing 10. So yeah, you just gotta- you gotta get in close. Oh, see, there we go. Okay. Never mind. It- yeah. As far as I can tell, this is just a shotgun that charges. I don't know why it's a fusion rifle, but it is. And I didn't mean to let go of the of the trigger there, but I did, and it's too late for that. I'm grab it. Oh, I was like, wait a minute, I got, oh my God. I'm on a five kill spree. I haven't even done like anything. See, it just wasn't there, chief. It just wasn't there. I also have the weighted knife, Mr. Fruit. Don't forget to utilize that. <clears throat> ah, fudge. Well, I wasted it. Some people are guessing next week what we'll get is perhaps the catalyst for this. If anything, I'm hoping maybe increased range or reduced cool time so far from what I've just experimented with for literally just like no amount of time at all. If there is anyone that has no business discussing the Bastion, it's this guy. I'm pointing to me, but you can't see that. But I love making irrational. Just humming to my happy place. Humming to my happy place. If you do not one-shot them with this thing, 
you have to switch because you are not going to be well unless they don't shoot back then you can probably kill them again also does my voice sound a little bit different today i don't know it's a little hoarse uh, a lot of talking done at the convention so far though i have avoided the pax plague um i need to find some wood and i must knock on it because god only knows i suck a big fat winner i suck a big a big a fat winner i suck I suck. I suck a big fat wiener, and I want to kill myself. Ah, the good old Puerto Rican rubdown. If that's not an innuendo, then Bob, I don't know what is. We love our new exotics around here, though. No more exciting time than this. But the problem is, if that's... Oh! Oh, the old Yorton. Uh, hold on. I'm charging. I'm char- I'm all charged up! Let's go! Wait, what? Oh my god. I was spamming my melee. How do you melee so fast? Whatever, well played. It's uh, punishment. You're not here to melee, Mr. Fruit. You're here to use the greatest gun destiny has ever seen. Oh, that is... Oh. That's bounced. For some reason, that warlock looks like a titan. Don't ask me why. Probably doesn't at all, but for some reason it looks like a titan with that aerial move. And I'm jealous. I'd love to do that. Power play, though. It's on. Surprised we haven't mercyed these fools. Get the charge up and... Oh my god, we actually... That was decent range. That was not. That's kind of where it falters. The problem is that. That is the problem. The problem is this is a shotgun. But you need to charge it. So if you come up against another shotgun who doesn't have to charge you, you're going to die. Because that's the optimal range. And I feel like that's what's um, holding us back right now. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a sec. Ugh, save stupid charging dumb man. But we won. Wow. Now, like I said, I obviously haven't done the quest and the mission yet, but essentially what it is, is we're like going back and messing with a timeline and we actually find our grave, our guardian's grave. So apparently we died for this weapon to, to mess with the timeline and give it to ourselves in the previous timeline. But I know myself and I would not sacrifice myself for this weapon. This is not the one I would die for. I would probably die for the pre-nerfed Hawk Moon or the No Land Beyond. Anybody else? Anybody else? Or is that just me? Also, my allergies be wilding right now. I am dying. Widow's Court. Ah, yes. A nice, short engagement map for Rumble as well. This is good. This is good. This, this is perfectly fine because watch this. First kill uh, or not. And we didn't... Um, and, uh, almost regardless of range, you need to hit the entire... The entire burst, why would I use this when I can just use the Mindbender's Ambition? Probably same kill range. In fact, Ambition might be a little bit better. But spoilers, everybody. It doesn't need to charge. That was half damage. Thankfully, uh, that guy can't hit the broad side of a moisture evaporator, you know what I'm saying? And we're charged up. And that's a different fusion rifle that's actually just better. Yeah, I'm starting to see, you know, I'm just, I'm not really, not really feeling it. Nope. Not a big fan right now. It seems like it doesn't know what it is. It's a lot of things, and it's not good at anything it tries to do. It's, it's one of those, you know what I'm saying? It's like a smorgasbord. It's just some identity crisis. Ay, ay, ay. Doesn't help that my eyes are inflamed, my nose is running, I'm dying. I don't know what allergies are going on right now. See, that's like, oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, um, I guess. But that's, that's the only time I'm gonna kill somebody. Is this maybe better in PvE? I've kind of heard it's butts in PvE, though. It, long story short, I've heard it's butts everywhere. Although, that was a decent range. Okay, wait a second. Wait a, hold the phone. Where is this coming from? This seems to... This seems to that like that range. I would take that. That's that's not terrible. Okay, but then now there's a fun fact. I have read that it has predictable recoil. That's right. Apparently, every single recoil is the exact same. We see us go up in here. So it might just be that you need to learn the recoil pattern and account for that when shooting. And I don't have ammo. Grab this ammo. Shwoop. Okay, now I'm good to go. Come on now. Are you at, big boy? Ah, see? It seems to violently, and I mean violently, kick upwards. So what I'm currently do- Grab the- grab the- grab the- grab the ammo. What the- No! Ah, oh, fudge, I forgot him. Grab the- The fudge is- whatever. It would appear that shooting, yeah, lower mass, and then letting it kick itself upward naturally, 
is uh, advantageous. Oh, nice shot. Ah, what the fudge? I was like, haha, output. What in the dickens is this spawn? I don't know, but it worked out for us. I was like, ha, outplayed him. He only spawns with two sniper shots. I should be fine. Well, apparently he picked up some because we did totally outplay the first couple, but I wasn't anticipating the rest. I appreciate the um, mid-air attempt, Cap. Oh. This is so strange. It was butts, but now I'm killing it. Honestly, a, a a decent... Wow, that was quite the lunge. A decent range, with all things considered, honestly. Like, if if we could do this consistently... That, okay, you're telling me that none of that... Oh, and that, oh, somebody's got a thorn. All right. Who do you think you are? Charge it up. Oh my god, you just got blanered. I'm gonna clean him up. Yeah, try and snipe me, boy. Try and snipe me. Boom. Okay, yeah. I don't even think it can get precision damage, so that doesn't matter. Shoot for lower mass, bro. Booge. There's a kill. Great stuff, me. I gotta hurry, I gotta hurry. Boom. There's another one. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. No! And I ran out of it. You hate to see it. This is so strange. It's like sometimes it does nothing. Sometimes all of it comes out at once. I, I don't know. As soon as I said, I hate it, it's like, hey, I don't appreciate you talking about me like that behind my back. <laughs> well, I, the funny thing is that I am talking behind his back because I'm holding it in front of me. Um, ironic, isn't it? Ah, okay. Oh, you know what? Yeah, maybe I judged a book too soon. I judged a book by its cover. And for that, I apologize. I don't know. It's still pretty close range, but we've started to get a little bit more reasonable ranged kills. That not being one of them because I missed the end. Oh my god, I'm dead. But what's incredible is we might. Uh, not bad. I was about to say, we might make this comeback. We did not. Well played. Yo, best efficiency though. Okay, that was. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I need to make a little audio thing here to put it back at the beginning of the video to let people know. Wait a minute. This is like, this is like quarters of time. This is like me going back in time to give myself something. I'm going back in time to give my viewers a heads up that we shouldn't judge this book by its cover. Bada bing, bada boom. And the weird thing is now that I said that I'm going back, but you've already heard me go back. So you already heard past. That was present fruit thinking about being future fruit to the past fruit to the past viewers, but you're the present view. Whoa, this stuff is crazy. I still don't think it was worth me dying for in the present to give to my past self. And I'm not really convinced this deserves the exotic spot slot whatever in your loadout because again put on a mind bender's ambition and it'll kill from about the same range uh, it's not exotic and it doesn't need to charge aside from that it's a new exotic so that's the cool thing and it does look cooler than the mind bender's ambition so checkmate with that said i don't want to thank all that much for watching have yourselves a fantastic day. i'll talk to you in the next one farewell